Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. You know, Terry Wayne Sanders and I have been friends a very long time. We've yes. both been in and around the Branson area, and I believe he's the hardest working guy in <laughs> show business. Now listen, we apologize to our guests a lot for mm -hmm. uh, this being so early when they come in, because if right. they sing or whatever, we ask them to be here at 6 a.m., sure. and that is quite early for most performers, but now you Not get me. up early anyway. I get up early anyway. I love uh, just, I love life, to be I you. know I really you do. do. And I do. I have so much fun with all my different jobs, and that's how I've always been. I've been in Branson, well, next year will be my 40th anniversary in Branson, Missouri. Next year is 40 years. 40 Are you going to do years. something special for that? Yes, I'm going to have a one time only. Terry Wayne Sanders, 40th anniversary, Homerly and Friends farewell show. You are? Yes, it's going to be on August 25th at the Americana Theater, 2 o'clock, and it's going to showcase all 40 years of what I've done, where I've been, and where I'm going. It's going to be very exciting. I can't wait. Can surprises. I come? Oh, yes. Matter of fact, I want you to be in the show. You because, do? Well, we've been friends for a long time. I know what you do and blah, 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 blah. And so I would be honored if you would do that. But uh, What do I do? Oh, uh, you, you, you. Who do you want me to be? Whoa, I don't know. Who do you think oh, I'm Oh, my gosh. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. You want me to be oh, Sure. sure, why not? Well, I did that one year with you, and that That's was so true. much fun. Actually, there was no rehearsing involved. No. We just went out there and did whatever came out. That's what I love about our shows, and that's what I like to do is keep mm -hmm. it spontaneous because the friends, the circle of friends that I have, we know. We read each other like, yes. wow, how yeah. did you know what we're going to wear? Yeah, exactly. We didn't, but that's what we do. We just feel each other. Exactly right. Well, and so uh, that's what I want to do uh, with this show. Uh, we're going to have some things that are really set in concrete. This is going to yeah. be a montage of the characters over the years and all that stuff. But it's going to be a lot of fun. But I've, I'm exactly where I want to be. I've always wanted to be in Branson. I'm going to do all the jobs I'm doing because it started out as a child. Oh, oh yeah. Did you grow yeah. up in Branson? Grew up, no. Uh, I grew up in Mountain Grove, Missouri. Okay. And uh, so we always would vacation in Branson because we could afford that. I was born with nothing. I still have most of it. Okay. <laughs> but it's true. But I we can come that. down there. Silver Dollar City uh, was free, but you had to pay a dollar twenty-five to go into Marvel Cave. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. Now that's, that's how old amazing. I am. Exactly right. So, but I, this first day I was at Silver Dollar, I told my grandpa Lee, Lee Sanders. Mm -hmm. This is where I want to be. And he thought I was just being a goofy little you kid. You mean you wanted to work there? I wanted to work there. I went, And to me, I, it wasn't going to be work. I knew then it was going to be the funnest job I've ever had. But also, we were able to afford to go to a couple shows. We saw the Shepherd of the Hills play, said the same thing. I want to be in this play. Went and saw a music show. I said, I want to be in a music show. And I've always loved TV, so I always uh -huh. wanted to be on TV. Uh -huh. So over the years, I've always worked at Silver Dollar City. I've always been in a music show. I've been in about 10 different shows over the years. And uh, of course, right now, I'm with C.J. Newsom at the American Mm -hmm. with C.J. Newsom's classic country and comedy, mm -hmm. and that's been great fun. But uh, Shepherd of the Hills, I've been there now on and off for 18 what years. What do you do at Shepherd of the Hills? Shepherd of the Hills, I play Ollie Stewart. He's that little city slicker. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. He is. Yes, it is. And so then also on certain nights, I would be uh, Doc who would say, what would Sarah and the girls say? <laughs> So that's always been great fun, but I love being there. And uh, my two boys are also in the play. Oh, nice to get to get work with your family. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, both boys start out as little Pete. And so for a while, we had Pete and repeat. So oh. there you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and they're still there with the show. Uh, they both do the lights and sound. And the youngest son, Evan, he plays Ollie and sometimes young Matt. Very so, nice, yeah, very so. nice. And I, I mean, honestly, I can't keep up with your schedule. I, I do you have <laughs> do you have one day off ever? Uh, you know, Christmas yesterday, I was off all day and all night. You were. It was wonderful because Christmas Eve, although Silver City was closed, I got to uh, perform at a private uh, party. It was a birthday party, 64 mm -hmm. uh, year old man, and they, he was from Nevada, and so uh, they wanted Joan Rivers to show up. I love Joan so, Rivers, oh, and you know. Don't we all, darling? Don't we all? Oh, we do, yes. and you know, we need to maybe have a segment of fashion police. We really, I think so. We might need to yeah. talk to you about that because let's uh, get on that. Joan was the the queen of fashion. She called it like she saw it, she and really was did. irreverent, well, funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would Joan like my shirt today? Oh, darling, yes. It, it looks, she liked anything. It, it looks like Liberace threw up on you. Oh, I love. Yes, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right there, there he is. That's the Joan right there. I love Joan. So, yeah. oh, and I we've done too. some gigs as as Joan and yes, and Cher. Joan and Cher up in St. Louis, yeah. all over the place. So yeah, great fun. So now anyway. I need to ask you about Silver Dollar City. So you've been working there since when? Uh, 1980. My first job there was Rube Dugan's Diving Bell. I was Junior Dugan on this submarine ride, uh -huh. and it was great fun. But I, I I knew I needed to go forward, and so I auditioned the next year for the court 
Courthouse Theater. I wanted to be Melvin McCoy at the time. Mm -hmm. This was the newest show on Park. It was the hottest show, the funniest show. Mm -hmm. And so I auditioned for the part. I got the role of Melvin McCoy, the chicken thief. He was on trial. Melvin had uh, stolen Elvira Menchai's chickens. And so they had this big court trial. They found me guilty. And I was electrocuted. True story. Electrocuted oh. five times a day. I'm still alive right Wait now. Wait a minute. No, really? They electrocuted you? They had this big electric chair. And I mean, these flash pots going off, oh. the strobe lights. It was incredible. It was great, great fun. And back so then, the I technology. shouldn't say what it came to my mind. So you were, you were buzzed all the time. Uh, yeah, yes. pretty much. Pretty much. Yes, indeed. Oh, pretty that's fantastic. Fun. And, yeah, and you mentioned earlier, like, at the park, if somebody is afraid to ride a certain roller yes. coaster or something, you're available or even to take them around the park. Right. Uh, matter of fact, now that's kind of cool right now. Uh, I'm what they call an image character at Silver Dollar. Mm -hmm. So I perform uh, a total of five, maybe six characters through, throughout the day around the entire park. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have guests come up and say, look, I'm at a certain age and I can't ride the rides with my kids. They want to ride that new ride, the new, uh, oh my gosh. The time traveler? Time traveler. Oh yes, my yes, goodness. Yes. And so I've been on that thing 41 times. <laughs> oh, it's great fun. And it, and it is, it is, it's some kind of ride. It's oh, it upside really down and backwards, and, and yes. that first drop will really get your stomach. 100 feet straight down. Mm -hmm. it's, it's phenomenal. They, they've gone with a great company out of uh, Germany, mm -hmm. and but I love it because uh, I get to help out families. And again, it's not about me. It's about us helping families have a good right, time. absolutely. And I get that because some people get queasy, you know, I'm kind of right. getting at an age, certain things bother right. me. But uh, I get to ride with the, the guests who come to our park or help them out. It's just great fun. You have the best job ever. I you really, really are having a lot of fun. And, and you've pretty much conquered every goal that you had. Honestly, I really have. And now I'm just living the dream. Every day I get excited about going to work. Some people hate their lives. They hate going to work. They hate everything about it. And I love what I do. I know I you dress do. up silly. They pay me. And it's just great fun. And I get to hear that joy, instantaneous you know, response. The laughter. Thank you so much. The, the laughter, thank you. All those things right there. And now, being at Silver Dollar now for almost 40 years, uh -huh. I have not just the first generation, but second, third, and the fourth on the way. Yes. And so they're like, I want you to meet so and so. I want him oh to see Homer Oh my goodness, Homer that Lee. is so great. And so, they do yeah. look for you. Now, the only yes, character that scares me is that Undertaker that you oh, do. And yes. that has always scared me. <laughs> I learned uh, to be the Undertaker from Mr. Wayne Millis. He was premier. He was the best ever. And he was a great teacher. And he had this, this high standard of, of comedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just had this innate ability to make anything work and make right. it funny. And I, I trained under him and that's what I've done all these years. Always be on your toes, always be alert to everything around you. Exactly. And it's just great fun. Now, do you wear some really strange contacts yeah. for that? That's you know, what, I think that's, the, it's the eyes. That's, it right that's there. what's that's scary it. about well, it. Well, here's the deal, you know, again, we're from a different generation. Mm -hmm. When I first started doing The Undertaker, we'd take uh, some makeup and kind of black out under our eyes, kind of give us that deep yeah. set eye uh -huh. look. Well, now kids are so used to these slasher movies, they see oh, all the Oh yeah, the that, that's not scary at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I thought, what can I do that's not going too far, but yet yeah. it gets their attention. Right. White contacts. White contacts. Oh, that, that, that's really creepy. Now, so, yeah. you were talking earlier because you're talking about it's not about us. We like helping people. You've got yes. a really great story you want to tell uh, us. I, at Christmas time, I play one character. I'm a Santa's helper. Mm -hmm. And I make sure the line is moving smoothly, all those great things. One of our uh, Santas, Santa Eric, uh, great man, very mm -hmm. astute, very uh, alert of things. I send a lady up there. She was in her late 20s. She goes up there. They're talking. All of a sudden, I see her start to cry. Now, also, we have a large audience, people watching in yeah. line to get up there. Santa it goes and so I go up there and he says listen here this young lady and her husband have wanted to have a child forever mm -hmm. they found out they can't they will never have children and that's her wish for Christmas is to have a baby and so he said can we just pray and so it was the most amazing thing I'm getting the goosebumps because we gathered our hands and we talked to the girl we talked to the Lord and the great thing was as I looked up I saw all the people in that line with us, and they started bowing oh, their heads. Wow. They were praying. They knew something was wrong. They had yeah. no idea the full yeah. story. Long story short, oh my goodness, we prayed, we cried. She goes on next in line. The very following year, she came back to find Santa Eric and I, and here in her arms, they had finally successfully oh, had man. conceived, had a baby, and I just heard from her this last uh, Christmas, and uh, she now has three children, and it's the oh, most wonderful Terry. thing. So you never know what's going to happen, who you're going to meet, and how you can change their lives just by being positive and saying, it's up to you, Lord. Wow. So, yeah, so help us make this that Christmas come true. 
Yeah. yeah, that was a fantastic story. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, that is amazing. And honestly, the power of prayer does totally work. Yes, it and does. to be a part of that, how wonderful. Yeah, three see, kids, three not kids. just one, but three. Yeah. And we have so much more to talk to you about. Yes, so much and, more. And uh, we'll be talking later. But what's coming up next? What is what, coming what, up next? What do we got coming oh, up? Oh, let's see. What do we have coming up? Oh, more Ozarks Fox <laughs> AM right after this. Don't go anywhere because we have security. I mean it. They will find you. Security yeah, is here. Trust me. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. Oh, I feel Todd. Todd. Yeah, I feel